All right, sometime last weekend, I came down late at night, and I made the fabric fringe on the bottom of his uh, serape. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do that on the rest of it back here. And because uh, I kind of like that, it uh, defines the edge of the uh, serape. And I, I kind of like that effect. All right, I'll be right back. Time to play with some clay. I've uh, put some clay through the uh, pasta machine, and uh, now what I'm going to do is I've got to make the fringe the same length as the uh, ones on the front, so I'm going to mark it there and there. That's the length I want the uh, fringe to be. I put my straight edge on the uh, marks, and I'm going to go back up. Well, I'm actually going to mark that. So I know where to start the cut for the fringe. I'm going to go back about that far and cut it right there. Now just using the edge of my exacto knife, I'm going to just cut each individual strand of uh, material hanging down below the serape. Okay, I'll be back when I get this to the point where I can put it on the clay. Now I'm going to fill in behind this so that uh, they can cast it, but uh, let's go ahead and use my wire tool to uh, blend in the clay a little bit. I'll have to fill in here with some clay to uh, even it out. Okay, I think that worked out just fine. All right. Now, let's work on the belt and the, the gun. Now, I'm going to make bullet bullets on his ammo belt. And I'm going to measure out the uh, length of the bullets. The cowboy would more than likely have his bullets in the front and his belt, the buckle, in the back uh, because it'd be easier for him to grab onto a, a shell here in the front rather than trying to reach around behind and do it from there. So I'm going to mark the length of the shell.
<clears throat> and what I've done is I've rolled out some clay to be the shells. I'll be back when I get this done. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm rounding off the bottom part of each shell for the lead slug that is at the bottom of each shell. I'll come back when I got all this done. Okay, I'm going to stick these on to the uh, belt. I'm going to have a couple of empty slots. I'll make that a little smaller. For bullets that have already been taken out. All right. I'm going to have to uh, paint those... Uh, bullets to match the clay. Alright, now I can just start doing the shirt. I'm going to have to fill in that area behind the uh, serape. And uh, I'll do that too. But right now I'm going to go clean my brush in the sink. Okay, I'm starting the shirt. I'm going to have it loosely fit on him. I moved his arm out of the way so that uh, it wouldn't be in the way of me sculpting this. All right, I've decided to put a vest on him and uh, just got to figure out how I'm going to do it. Kind of like the idea of the uh, vest. It actually fills it out nicely and gives it some depth. I've run uh, some monster clay through my pasta machine and uh, then through the spaghetti part of it to get me the uh, same size stitching. Now if I can just get it right. There we go. I really like the way this is turning out now. I'm thinking of also adding a neckerchief hanging down here. That would finish out the front of his uh, shirt nicely. I like the way the gun is under the end of the flap of his uh, 
this. It all adds to the story of the uh, clay and the bronze when you finally get the bronze. And you got all these different planes, different la layers to your story. And uh, it kind of builds a character and leaves you to your imagination to make a story about him. All right, I'll pick this up tomorrow. Can't wait to get back on this. I think uh, putting that uh, fabric fringe on the back of his, uh, or at the edge of his uh, serape kind of adds to it all. Just layers upon layers of uh, a story. All right, everybody, good night. See you tomorrow. Can't wait to get back on this one. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.